Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Pakistan is in the process to finalize Budget 2020. It's an attuned matter for any country. But this year, it is not a business as usual. There are multiple factors which will impact the budget making process in Pakistan this year. First of all, Pakistan economy was trying to recover. Pakistan was struggling to revive its economy, to revive industrial sector, to enhance its export, to decrease its import, and was also trying to introduce new economic avenues in our, in our economy like ICT, like software development, and other sectors of the technology. But suddenly, Pakistan was hit by COVID-19 like any other country in the world. COVID-19 has introduced an entirely new problem for the Pakistan. Let's look at that what it has brought for the Pakistan. First of all, our exports started to decline. In the last few months, we were witnessing a steady increase of our export, but due to COVID-19, our exports has been dropped drop uh, our exports has been dropped drastically if you look at the statistics our exports are in april 2020 it was only 957 million dollar that is a bad news the major impacted sector were the knitwear were the tech cotton uh, and uh, and ready-made garments our ready-made garment export decreased by almost 70 percent and our cotton cloth export it decreased by almost 64 point something so these are the bad news for the pakistan economy but at the same time our import are not showing the similar trend. Our imports are decreasing by nominal rate. If you look at the statistics, our imports in April, they, they were more than, it was 3.2 billion. And our export was only $9.57 million. So it's a huge difference. It is, it, it is contributing to increase our current account deficit, which is more than the $2 billion at this point of the time. And the major surge in import was, was noticed in the food sector, for example, in the palm oil and in the pulses. Pulses almost increased by the 89%. That is, that is a very strange and a disturbing fact because Pakistan is a, an agriculture country. If we look at other dimension, our, uh, our large scale production sector is also going through some very negative trends. If you look at the large scale production, it has been dec uh, it decreased by 22.95%. Uh, if you look at the sector which has been impacted most in the number top, at, uh, at the top is a textile sector. Then we can talk about automobile, engineering goods. So these are the circumstances in which Pakistan was trying to look at its economy, design its budget. If we look at another dimension, the dimension of the revenues, that is not also very good. Rather, we can say it's also showing a bad picture. If we look at our tax collection, Prime Minister, a few days back, he mentioned that our tax collection has been decreased by 30%. If we look at our remittances, World Bank has predicted that in South Asia, there's a of 20 percent in the remittances but the real problem will be emerged in the coming months because a number of our labor has been uh, has been uh, uh, has been freed from the market and they are looking for the job most of majority of them are coming back to the country on one side it is it will negatively uh, impact over the revenues for an exchange on the other side government have to take care of unemployed people so these are the circumstances in, in these circumstances what option Pakistan have how Pakistan can make a budget which can help Pakistan to revive somehow its economy and also can contribute towards the job creation and the creation of a, a revenue avenues. The first of all, we can look at it in the short term. Agriculture can help us in this side. How agriculture can help? Agriculture has the multiple dimensions. First of all, it can help us to secure our food. Food is very important. Wherever there is a shortage of the foods, you can find there the rights, you can find there the violent protest. So agriculture can help us to provide food for our, our population. Second, it will help us to create jobs. And if we have looked at the statistics, already more than 40% of our labor is engaged in the agriculture. If we increase opportunities in agriculture, or we improve the production system of the agriculture, we can consume more people or the more labor in the agriculture sector. Second, it will also help government to reduce the import bill in the term of the, if we have the good quantity of the cotton, we can provide that cotton to the textile sector and the textile sector will not have to import the cotton. On one side, we can save the uh, uh, foreign exchange, not by importing the cotton. On other direction, we can also create a local market or we can also provide the raw material at the local market, which will help the run the, our industry. 
if agriculture will be striving so large number of population living in the village they will contribute toward the consumption of the local products it's, it can help our industry to revive somehow or you can say it can help our industry to sustain it's a it's a it's a footing and also can provide help our industry to create job on the sustainable basis second area is information technology or we can say the technology at a larger scale at this time uh, at this time government of pakistan is struggling and government is trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, 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 trying to introduce our uh, digitalization process in the pakistan at this point of the time government is also giving some facilities to the information sector uh, information sector and technology sector if you look at the statistics our uh, information technology is already contributing towards export if you look at the statistics for the uh, last eight months it has contributed 867 million uh, uh, million to our national reserves and it, uh, it also has exhibited a growth rate of the 26 percent so if the government try to invest more on uh, in this sector so, so we can produce more jobs we can also earn a decent foreign, uh, uh, foreign reserves and it will help us to sustain our revenue which we are losing toward the decline in the remittances so it can also help us there but that purpose again government will have to introduce a comprehensive policy not only the policy but the comprehensive plan of action and implement those actual plan of action for example if we look at that Huawei Pakistan is already helping Pakistan to to build the capacity of a Pakistani young population to invest uh, to, uh, to get employment in the sector of the technology and number of people they already have employed especially for the their the functions are the, their, their, their operations in Middle East and the Central Asia so this is an other avenue the third avenue is Pakistan should talk to the China for inclusion in the supply chain it can help it will help SMEs to sustain the business Pakistan should ask China for inclusion in the supply chain in the sector of the technology in the sector of the food processing industry in mechanicals or in other sectors it will help our SMEs to sustain their business when they will be able to sustain their business so they will be able to sustain the labor so it will help us to reduce the unemployment in the Pakistan but again coming back government will have to come out of the lip service government have to take some concrete measure for example in the agriculture sector our government was talking about so we are putting a lot of efforts on agriculture improvement but the attack out of the quarter they have proved that government was not prepared for that so this time government have to avoid those mistakes and put the resources to improve these three sectors these three sectors will help Pakistan number one to create the job second to create the avenues for the revenue number third to bring where to bring the foreign exchange to the country thank you so much <music>